In parts of sub-Saharan Africa, albinos have long been subject to discrimination and prejudice. Innocent victims of a pigment disorder who are falsely attributed with magical powers. But in the last five years in Tanzania, they've also faced murder and mutilation, as their body parts have become prized elements in witchcraft rituals. In this edition of Africa Investigates, we examine the plight of the albinos and go after those who seek to make money from their despair. Right from the start of this film, viewers may find some of the images disturbing. Mimi naitwa Isaac Timoth. Ni mtanzania. Ninataka nikuambie shida ambayo albino wanapata nchini kwetu. Gaspari alikana ni kijana aliyekuwa anaishi kijiji cha Nyawirimirwa. Usiku mmoja walikuja watu wasiojulikana wakamvamia. Watu ambao wanatoka na imani za ushirikina. Mimi ninashangaa. Kwa nini watu bado wanaamini uchawi wa kutumia viungo vya albino? My name is Anas Arimiao Anas. I am an undercover reporter and I will help Isaac make this film. I never reveal my face because my anonymity is an important weapon in my work. We want to raise awareness about the plight of albinos in Tanzania. We want to show the fraud of witchcraft and expose the criminals behind the albino body parts trade. But first, I will stay in the background and leave Isaac to lead a fact-finding mission with the members of the Tanzanian Albino Society. We are also joined by Richard Magamba, a local journalist who has worked on this story before. Richard knows from his own experience why albinos are at risk. When I grew up as a child, I was told albinos don't die. They have the magical power. Whenever they grew, they will just disappear at a certain point. So this kind of belief, plus the outdated belief engineered by witch doctors, has created uh, the booming business for, for, uh, for the demand for albino parts. It's very sad. 50 years of independence in my country, we still believe we can kill each other to make money. We can kill albino. A fresh attack just happened a week ago near Gaeta in northern Tanzania. Sasaibi tunaenda ustari kumuona mwenzetu alie jeruhiwa na kukatwa mapanga kwa imani za kishirikina eh, kwa kutaka na kutaka kunyofua viungo vyao baada ya kumukata wali chukua viungo vidole viwi vitatu Madam, pole. Pole sana. Labda tu daktari taarifa yako juu ya tiba ambayo inaendelea kwa huyu kijana mpaka sasa hivi. Ipo vipi? Baada ya kufika hapa, tulichukua juhudi ya kumpiga picha na kuweza kuangalia kama hapo kwenye mkono mdogo hapa umekatika umekatika kumekatika mfupa wana. Eh mfupa. Okay. Ya ni tofauti na pale ilipo ufika mwanzoni kabisa alikuwa kwa kweli alikuwa kwenye hali mbaya sana. Mm. Na yeye tunashukuru Mungu kwamba amenisaidia na ifikia kiasi kama hiki. Mm. Na Kazi 
Ah. Nimesononeka vibaya sana moyo wangu hauna amani. Kweli imani hizi za ushirikina zitatufikisha mahali pabaya. Tutamalizana bila sababu yoyote kabisa. Let's see what the police have to say about Adam's case. They have already locked up several suspects in the cells in the background and senior police superintendent Paolo Kasabago agreed to brief our delegation about his latest findings. Kuja kuona walio mjeruhi mwenzetu wa kiingizo mahakamani kuja kushuhudia hati zetu zinasikilizwaje mbele ya mahakama This is the first court hearing in Adam's case so far, there are three suspects. It is good to see that the police are moving fast with this investigation. Our next mission is a trip to Adam's village to have a look at the crime scene. We are told uh, uh, there is a lot of traditional outdated belief where they practice uh, uh, witchcraft, where a parent can conspire with other witch doctors to sell his own child who is an albino. In a manner, Lazima tuwe, lazima tufikiri kwamba sijui ni umasikini na kama ni umasikini ni umasikini wa jinsi gani wa kufika mahali mtu anapitia mtoto wake Every day a new drama is coming out We have heard about the three witch doctors being arrested this morning uh, who conspired together One of them was the father of Adam The second is, is a popular witch doctor called Jesus in local language is known as Mwana Yesu means uh, the son of Jesus and he was baptized that name because of he, he is believed to has so many magical power it's unbelievable and then we have the third we are told there's a very huge crowd who visit him several times for remedy and also for fortune seekers we have to find the witnesses who saw Adam on the day he was attacked we are lucky we have found Adam's older brother Salim when Adam got attacked Salim was staying at their grandmother's place now he wants to show us the crime scene. What is mama? What is mama? What is What is it? 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 This is where they were sitting for a dinner on that day when Adam's attackers attacked him. When it was raining, they moved to try seek a place where there is no rain. It was here. So this, this is where they put Adam's finger and chop them, uh, cut them off here. They put his right hands here and chopped all these parts. So this is a mark that remains there. 
Huyo mtu aliyekuja kula chakula na kina damu ambaye baadaye alimshambulia. Ni mara yake ya kwanza kuja hapa au amewahi kuja hapa? Ndari wa kwanza. Ni kwa safari ya kwanza. That was the first time that stranger was seen here. Ihar wa wuri kwa kinehe, wuri wa koha, nuru kinehe, nuru liwa na kinehe wewe. Maro ko hatu ha huru wira. Huru wira ne dege. Ni ba ni vidoro ya bonu tana sha. Budi kanya kinero ko swaba wako. Ne ndhe mbre to ge ki vise to tata sha at na to tewe. Hamo 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 wa nchingi ki hamo. To na kusu omayo. Mama mwenyewe. Eh ko eh. Hamo wa to mchinja nuru kine. Renu mayo, kuru inka kahu bawa, ukuri esok tadi aku suka, nunggu orang jauh kira de, ada kan ura kehi, nunggu temag itu ne, nunggu fikir je nanti nunggu cakap kau ini se. Oh ikan lagi nayar, sebab tu kan nunggu si kau kau nunggu, nunggu nunggu ni, nunggu dia nak kira kau. Sebab tu kau si lah kau. Mimi pia nikaanza kusikitika sana kwamba labda wanaweza wakarudi tena kum, kumkata na yeye na vidole vyake. Twende tukaone bibi yake na Adamu. Atasema nini kwa sababu watoto wake wawili wamekamatwa na polisi pamoja na mkamwana wake. Haruwe buli kwa kinehe kuhusu bana bako wana uitu nje wako uiwa na bwana na hina haka ka kemiti muka ku ikwire koku te amke makaho ari ke ke kine koku ku ibonerwa to ho aki ibonerirwe ke te isa ko temadu atenuru na ki kwa ki sukuru ke ke ikare cha ki soka sawa na nuru ko cha ki soka anki ko pira ikure cha ikwa ko be cha ke te sawa Kilicho litia moyo ni kwamba yeye alikuwa upande wa mjukuu wake kwamba anamjali anampenda na yuko tayari kumtetea. Nipa na Malawi, nipa kine. Kwa kuikala wa miaka tu. Mtuampili chiku ko. Sawa mama. Na Malawi ko monte kuila. Uko ni Malawi. Ah Malawi. É malá o minge. Na haya mimi, ni na fikiri kwamba ni kueli, kwa sababu, wachimbaji wa dogo wa dogo wa dhahabu. Wana imani hizo za kishirikina, kwamba ukitumia viungo vya alibino, wanatumia viungo hivi vya alibino kuingia na mfupa. Dani ya maishimo yao, ya dhahabu, wanadai ni kama kismati fulani ambacho kinamfanya mtu apate pesa. Hawa watu wanaamini kwamba ukiwa na mfupa wa albino unapata dhahabu ni kweli? Aiseni hao watu. Eh ni kweli. Ni kweli. Eh ni kweli. Wamewahi kujaribu na wakapata? Hao hawajaribu. Sasa umejuaje ni kweli wanao? Na hiyo mensali nimewahi kuisikia kwa mzee mmoja yeah. ambao mwenye point. Ukigundua kama hiyo inaleta mali utanunua? Aisee lazima kabisa ni hile. No wonder Adam's grandmother suspects local gold miners behind the albino body parts trade. Unfortunately, Adam's attack is not unusual. We have just received bad news. The mother of all battles happened in Kama yesterday. So that's where we are heading right now. Tukapata habari za utatanishi kwamba kuna mwezetu wa kahama kakatwa mkono tunaoomba dunia nzima kwa kushirikiana na na sisi wale mambo ngozi katika nchi yetu ya Tanzania ili tuondokane na hizi imani za kishirikina na nchi yetu na vile vile na sisi tuendelee kuishi katika amani na utulivu I have a girl like that Suppose this is my daughter. Someone is believing witchcraft and is doing this to my daughter. 
what, what, how will I feel? It's, it's horrible. It's horrible. I have never imagined that this is where we have reached. Just 16 year old girl? No. Unbelievable. This is the second case we have received here at the hospital. Yeah. What do you feel when you see people still believe in killing each other just to get rich? Uh, this is very sad. This is very sad. Uh, it's unacceptable because every human being has a right to live. We need to increase our effort to make sure that we protect this, the Arabino, especially so that they can live comfortable within their society. I'm <laughs> The attacks against albinos are clearly on the rise. Since 2008, Tanzania counted 62 albinos who were killed, 16 who had limbs amputated, and the bodies of 12 albinos were exhumed. Our next mission is to confront a witch doctor who is linked to these crimes. It's the start of our undercover investigation and it's time to get involved myself. I almost feel like the operation should start right now. But first, I have to prepare my bait, specially designed to trap albino hunters. Yeah. Oh. Wow. So this is a manufactured fake arm. Very, very close to reality. And it's a chopped off hand of an albino. Look where it was chopped off. Looks so real. A special effects company prepared this prosthetic arm and I want to use it to scare witch doctors and prove that they are only talking nonsense when they try to sell their albino concoctions. It, it, it's, it's so sad that you see children who otherwise would have bright future having their limbs chopped off. I can't believe how inhuman some people can be. Let's see what Isaac has to say about my mission. I haven't yet told him about the fake arm and I can't wait to see his reaction. My plan is about going to meet the witch doctors. What I'm going to do is to confront them. I will pull out my Albino hand. How do you feel about it? You know, I can't come here again. He's saying it looks real. Yes. Look at this here, Jeff. This is rubber. You need rubber. It's all rubber. So this is what we are going to use for the plant. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. This is a new one. <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's great to see I managed to surprise Isaac. If he thinks this is real, I should be in a good position to lure the witch doctors into my trap. Police were time in the company plastic. Hopefully, my secret filming will show that witch doctors are nothing else than criminal charlatans, abusing the ignorance of poor and uneducated people and driving attacks on albinos in this country. Isaac gives me the contact of a witch doctor who is suspected of being involved in the albino trade. I pose as a customer who wants to become rich, and the witch doctor demands a banknote to start his ceremony. <laughs> He continues for half an hour talking about curses, black magic, and the need of special medicine to boost my luck and success. 
At this point, I started to ask specifically about the albino concoctions. But does he have the albino part already? Isaac was right. This is one of the witch doctors who is fueling the albino body part straight. He wants to sell me a potion for about $70. Mm. So where is the albino bone? Where is it? I want to You said they've uh, crushed it in the medicine. Let me see. So the albino bone is here. Yeah. Now, is it is it a young albino or an old albino? A young albino, yeah. like a, a child. That's it. It's time to scare him with my arm. Tell him I've brought him a present. You should take this. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Say you want a life I've been on. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take. Why? Why? What are you? Take it. Take the albino arm. Take it. Why are you afraid? He says what? He says what? Sorry. Sorry for what? Sorry for what? Is this things that you do that kill albinos? Sorry for what? Eh? Take it. Take it. Why are they doing that? He says what? Would you stop these albino things? Utacha. Utacha kabisa. He's saying he'll stop. Bring it. Bring my hand. Let's go. The money doesn't belong to you. Good. You see, we got him. Yes, good. <laughs> it will not only be just this one. We are going round picking them one by one to ensure that we put them behind bars. The atrocities that they are perpetrating towards albinos are nothing but stupid. They have to stay in prison and keep the society safe. He kazi yendele. Uende mbere zaidi kwa tafuta wengine. Na kisha jeshi la polisi na serikali wa kwa ya Tanzania iwe nyuma yenu. Baada ya kukiri yeye mwenyewe kwamba anafanya anatumia dawa zake na kuunganisha hizi hizi mifupa za albino polisi wa mkamate. Kama wewe mkiri mwenyewe Hakuna sababu yoyote ambayo inaweza ikaifanya hata mahakama ya Tanzania kwa sababu yeye mwenyewe amekiri kwa kinywa chake kwamba anafanya. Kwa hiyo kazi na ifurahia ni nzuri iendelee. Mr. Anas, thank you. Thank you too. Witchcraft has always been there. If you look at my country, the Sunday Citizen published an article at the front page saying a Juju nation. Every five people out of ten have visited the witch doctor for the purpose of getting remedy or seeking the fortune. Now, when you have half of the population believe in that kind of thing, the challenge is how do we move out of this? Because if witchcraft was working, Africa would have been far in terms of development. Africa wouldn't have been begging for aid from Europeans or from America. But people have to understand that it doesn't work. We have to move forward. It doesn't work at all. We have to stop it. We have to abandon it. The trial of the three people accused of involvement in the attack on Adam has been adjourned until the new year to allow him time to recover from his injuries.